There's certain contractors that have gotten away with this stuff time and time again here in Kansas City. Questions remain about how a worker managed to fall to his death down an elevator shaft in the middle of the night. While OSHA tries to sort out those answers, a rally is now planned outside the building where it happened. A developer is turning the old AT&T building at 8th and Cherry into apartments. Fox Dave DeMarco is live there now with what we know and what we still don't know about that worker. Dave? And we have learned that man's name is Rodolfo Garcia, but police still don't know how old he was. And we're, uh, some of those organizations that have been monitoring this investigation say that's because he was undocumented. Kansas City Police and Firefighters were called to the former AT&T building, now under renovation, July 18th on the report of a worker who fell 14 stories down an elevator shaft to his death at 1.30 in the morning. As you start to work after hours or broader third shift type scenarios, there have to be better safety protocols set in place to protect workers, um, sometimes from the environments. The Fair Contracting Alliance is a nonprofit organization that works to ensure all employees, irrespective of their immigration status, receive full protection of safety and wage laws. Organized KC also serves as a voice for all Kansas City workers. Its chairman says immigrants lacking permanent legal status are commonplace on Kansas City construction job sites. <clears throat> They're definitely more prone to be taken advantage of, and employers like that. So, yeah, they face many challenges. OSHA has opened an investigation into a temp agency Garcia was working for, Infinity Resources Enterprises, that was performing asbestos abatement work under contract with New Horizons LLC. OSHA also opened an investigation with the building's owner, DC developer, the Bernstein Companies. According to previous reporting by the Kansas City Business Journal, Bernstein was able to petition the city to double its tax abatements earlier this year, citing increases in interest rates and construction costs. And yet they still want these incentives and they still go back and hire cheap labor, you know, whether it be in undocumented workers or through temp agencies. Temp agencies here in the area, they don't have trained workers. Only the contractor returned our calls and emails saying it can't comment during an OSHA investigation that can take up to six months, but pointed out Garcia wasn't its employee. Lake says he's seen how unfortunate the incidents involving workers go. They start pointing fingers, so um, it, it, it's never the contractor's fault, it's never the developer's fault. It's never the city's or the school district's fault. So I'm told tomorrow's rally out here is going to involve organized labor and labor and community advocates really hoping for change and safer working conditions. Lauren, it's planned from 6 in the morning until 3.